So uh, six foot seven, current Steve height, and um, I, you know, some people think, well, it'd be great to be that tall because you know, tall is considered generally good. But um, it's very weird, six foot seven, because on the one hand, it makes you a little bit cocky, a little bit arrogant, and on the other hand, uh, a bit self-conscious, a bit awkward. Um, so the cocky version, like just just as an example, um, beep, 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 beep. sir, what do you do for a living? Do you mind me asking? You kept your head down, but it didn't work, did it? <laughs> You're a scientist. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and um, how tall are you, sir? 5'10". Uh, 5'10". Five ten. Five ten. Scientist 5'10". Now, this is the arrogant part of my brain, thinking, you know, I could spend a day sort of as him. Do you know what I mean? I could just go about... <laughs> what should we do? Stick an ear to a goat or something? Whatever, yeah, we've got, we got Grant. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, 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 it's pretty much how your day pans out, isn't it? Something like that. Do you know what I mean? Would it be much harder for you to spend the day as me, wouldn't it? You'd need the built-up shoes and uh, the awards and stuff like that. You know what I mean? You know, it'd be tricky. No, it'd be tricky. <laughs> no. I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. Do you know what? Just, that's the arrogant part of your brain, thinking, you know, because oh, be, I've been, you know, everyone in this room, I don't know, unless there's anyone who's taller than six foot seven. Is there? No? Then that means I've been, I've been all of your heights at some point. <laughs> Just quite a sort of cocky arrogant thing. But on, on the other hand, um, it's too big. Six or seven, it's too big. You don't need to be this tall. Uh, I was always very self-conscious growing up. I always wanted to seem smaller growing up. Like when I was a teenager, I just spent a lot of time just leaning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or just spending as much time as possible in the distance. <laughs> oh, yeah, how's it going? No, stay there. Stay there. It's fine. Stay there. Nothing's made for you when you're six foot seven. Um, most most uh, beds, for instance, are six foot four, so Steve's feet are off the end there. Most door frames are, uh, most door frames are six foot six. So if I was stood behind a door, that, it'd be like that. That's pretty much what you'd see. <laughs> Just one reason why I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. Because <laughs> that'd be weird, wouldn't it, that coming to the door? Bing bong, oh yeah. <laughs> Could I talk to you about God at all? I... I brought some pamphlets, if you're interested, I... <laughs> Could I step inside your home for a second? Thanks very much indeed, yeah. You got everything you need, you're fine, all right, cheers. Got to, I've got to sort of stoop as I go through doors. My doctor said to me, uh, my, my doctor said, um, be careful that with stooping because you can get curvature of the spine if you do it a lot. And he, suggests, he said to me, what you should do when you walk through a door is bend at the knee. <laughs> Makes it very difficult to storm out of a room. You can stick this job up your all right? I may not have any income, at least I've got my dignity. <laughs> It's a nightmare. Six foot seven's too big. It's a nightmare on aeroplanes, particularly those sort of short haul flights, you know, where there's, there's no extra, there's not extra legroom if you want it, you know, even if you want sort of business class. So I've got to sort of cram myself into the regular seat, you know, sort of wedge in. Oh, God. The stewardess comes over. Why are you in the crash position? I'm not in the crash position! <laughs> Can't sort of get the, the, the tray down flat because I'm a knee, so I've got to sort of, got to sort of eat my meal from the aisle. <laughs> go past. No, it's fine. Go past. Go past. Occasionally, if I'm very lucky, if I, get, if I get to the airport, you know, three days in advance, camp out, then I can get the uh, emergency exit aisle. This is, uh, but this has got its own problems. I don't know if you've ever had the emergency exit aisle, but what you don't realize if you don't have it is you do get the extra leg room, but there's a whole bunch of other responsibilities. So uh, when you sit in the emergency exit, um, the stewardess comes over and she says, uh, just to let you know, in the event of a crash landing, it's your responsibility to have uh, consulted the information booklet and uh, if we do crash land, you've got to open the door and help other passengers off. <laughs> what? I wish you imagine that's going to play out. Oh my God, no! Oh, for the love of God, no! Mother! Right, let's get this door open. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for flying with us. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks so much. Mind the uh, pool of <laughs> and vomit there. Uh... That was me, that was my fault. I, uh, when the wing snapped off, it just boom, right there, and both ends, both ends. Please fly with BA again, thank you very much. <laughs>